2, 3 and 4 for your term or examination. Okay, already? Yes, right? Okay, today we are going to revise chapter 1 and 2. Okay, okay tell me what's the first chapter? Louder. And very good. Grandma glasses, right? Yes, grandma glasses. Okay. Say the spelling of grandma. And very good. G O S A N S D N A. Yes, grandma. Yes, glasses. G L S A. Yes, yes. And very good. Yes, right? Yes, grandma. Glasses. Okay. In this story, grandma's glasses is about as is about a grandma who lost and found her glasses. Okay. The story is about a grandma who lost and found her glasses. Okay. Okay. This story starts with a grandma. Starts with a grandma. Grandma. What's her name? Louder. Yes. Aji. Right? Yes. Aji. Say the spelling of Aji. You know. It's very good. Yay. S J I right S R G R G woke up in the morning okay she woke up in the morning and she sat in her favorite chair to read newspaper okay in the drawing room she she sat in her favorite chair to read S newspaper her family grand R G family already plan to go for a yes, picnic. Do you like to go picnic? Yes, right? Yes. Here also, her family plan to go for a picnic. So, in the morning, all, all her family members were packing their baskets and they were laughing and chatting and they are on the yes, joy mode. Okay, they are on the joy mode. At that time, Veena. Okay. Veena. What's the spelling of Veena? It's very good. V. -E. Louder. S. E. N. S. E. A. Veena. Okay. Veena. She called Aji. Okay. She called Aji. Aji. Let's go for a picnic. Okay. Come Aji. Let's go for a picnic. Aji. Got up from the chair. Okay. She got up from the chair and she picked her as bag. She picked her bag and she started to walk. Suddenly she stopped. Right. Yes. Suddenly she stopped. Why? Yes. Very good. She missed her. Yes. Glasses. Right. Yes. She missed her glasses. She said, I can't find her glasses. Who said? Yes, Aji. Aji said, I can't find her glasses. My glasses are gone. My glasses are gone. Suddenly, Madhu came. Okay. Mother entered. What's the spelling of Mother? Say, S M A. S B H S A B right S mother mother entered and said Aji it must be on your favorite chair you are read a newspaper right so it must be on your yes chair he ran to her drawing room and he searched did he found no right yes then he said, Aji, it's not here. Right? Yes, Aji, it's not here. Who said? As mother. Right? Then who came? As very good. Veena. Veena said, Aji, it must be on your room. Right? As for she ran to her room and searched. 
did she found no right she also said it's not there raji okay then who came yes very good veena mom veena mom veena and mother mom did she found no right where did she serve is very good balcony right is what's the meaning of balcony is very good an open roof or small terrace facing outside the house right yes so she served on the balcony she said it must be near your flower pot because you were what are the plants so it must be near the flower pot did she found no right yes then who came yes veena and madam dad right yes veena and mother dad he said it must be on the kitchen shelf because you took them off when you were making a tea at last he too couldn't found so she was sad she was sad okay at last who shouted is very good mother right is mother shouted mother shouted and said aji it's on your head right is aji it's on your head everyone laugh everyone laughed and vina said they were hiding on your hair right is they were hiding on your hair aji everyone laughed Aji had both of her grandchildren. Okay, she had both her grandchildren and said, "You are getting late, so let's go for a picnic." Okay, hear the story. And Aji tell me who found her glasses. Is very good, mother, right? Yes, mother. Okay, what's the second chapter? What's the title? Is very good. Trying to is trying to lick your is elbow, right? Is trying to lick your elbow. What's the spelling of elbow? Is very good. E L B O W, right? Is who is the author? Is very good. Can next bed, right? Yes, can next bed. Can we? Yes, B I S T T, right? Yes, can next bed. In this chapter, try to lick your elbow. Is a funny poem. Okay, this poem is a funny poem, and. in this we will learn about the various body parts okay can you say some body parts as very good head as eyes as nose ears mouth hands fingers legs and so on right as very good okay this poem is about if you can lick your elbow or not okay if you can lick your elbow or not poem starts with your elbow with elbow okay the poem starts with the body part elbow in the first stanza your elbow is pretty hard to reach Although it's awfully near, just try to lick your elbow or to put it in your ear. In this, Ken Nesbitt says that you cannot put your elbow in your ear. Okay, you cannot lick your elbow too. Although it is very near, but it is very tough to reach. 
okay you cannot put your elbow or you cannot try lick your elbow because it is a yes, very tough okay although it is very near but it is very tough to reach second stanza you cannot reach your elbow with your shoulder or your nose it's practically impossible to touch it with your toes okay impossible means as very good can never happen right yes something that can never happen happen so in this stanza he ken nesbit says that you cannot reach your elbow with your shoulder or your nose okay you cannot reach your elbow with your shoulder or your nose it is not possible to touch your elbow with your shoulder okay it is not possible to touch your elbow with your shoulder or your nose that can never be done okay it is not impossible it is impossible to touch it with your nose so in the first two stanza kennesbit says that you cannot as put your elbow in your ear you cannot lick your elbow you cannot reach your elbow with your shoulder or your nose okay or and you cannot touch your elbow with your toes too okay next stanza your elbow on no go near your neck your forehead or your eyes if you could touch it to your spine i think you would win a prize okay tell me what is the meaning of spine already we learned right as what is the meaning of spine as very good backbone right as backbone in this stanza kennesbit says you cannot touch your elbow to your forehead eyes or neck okay if you touch your elbow through your spine then you would win a prize okay then you would win a prize if you touch your elbow through your backbone you would win a prize did you understand okay next stanza i tried to lick my elbow once and i came pretty close but then i stopped and realized like oh no that's gross okay my dear children already we learned right yes what is the meaning of gross louder what is the meaning of gross is very good dirty right is dirty gross means is dirty in this the speaker say once he try to lick his elbow okay once he try to lick his elbow at that time he was very close to lick his elbow but do you know what happened is very good he stopped right as he stopped and then he understand that it, it is yes dirty right that it is dirty so my dear children we should not lick our elbows okay we shouldn't lick our elbows because it is louder yes dirty so in this chapter try to lick your elbow says that we shouldn't lick our elbow because it is dirty and also this poem as taught so many body parts right yes like elbow ear shoulder nose toes neck forehead eyes spine right yes okay next move to the grammar part naming words naming words you know each and every one have name right as yes, each and every one have name 
we call the names of things places animals people etc by its names right as a naming word is called a noun the other name for naming word is noun okay for example the sun shone brightly here sun is a name right a sun is a name of a planet so it comes under yes noun okay okay tell me the rose is beautiful as very good rose right as rose is a noun it is a name of a as flower okay good my dear children you answered well okay today we revised yes chapter 1 and 2 and also as naming word right okay my dear children that's all for today thank you for watching bye bye